This video is presented to you by www.testpreparta.com. Dear students, we have already talked about science in the previous session. There we learned that science or a scientific theory is nothing but a set of assumptions. These assumptions are proposed on the basis of experimental observations and facts. For the sake of our convenience, we have divided science into physics, chemistry, biology, geology, astronomy, etc. Different parts are there. In this session, we will talk about physics and four fundamental forces in nature. Now what is physics? If you go and check the dictionary, you will find the definition of physics as study of matter, energy and their interaction. But for me, physics is all about asking fundamental questions and answering them logically. The word physics is actually derived from a Greek word Fusis. The meaning of this word is nature. So physics is what? Study of nature and natural phenomena. Actually in physics uh, on the basis of experimental observations and their analysis, we try to discover rules which are operating in nature. And we have concluded, we have concluded that the natural world is governed by few laws and rules. And different natural phenomena, different physical phenomena are explained with the help of these laws and rules. Now as you are watching this video, if I ask you, are you experiencing any force? Few of you may say, no. Why? Because you are not aware of different forces which are acting upon you. Now question arises, what is a force? By our experience or with our experience we say that force is required to carry an object, force is required to break an object, force is required to push an object and if something hits you if something hits you, you say or you experience the impact of the force. Now, if I if I push this block in this manner, then block starts moving. Now if I take my car and if I push my car from inside will my car move? my car does not move am I applying a force here? and if I am applying a force why is my car not moving? So, what is the correct way to define a force? Or, what is the scientific way to define force? The correct idea of force was given by Newton in his famous law of motion. Force is actually a push or a pull on an object resulting from the interaction of that object with a 
another object or we say whenever two objects interact whenever there is an interaction between two objects a force exists between them or a force acts on both the object so this way we define a force on a lighter note i may say there is a force of attraction between you and your mother and please note force changes the state of the motion of the object all the phenomena which occur in nature we classify into two categories one macroscopic another microscopic If I talk about macroscopic domain, then we encounter with many forces such as contact force, frictional force. You must be aware of tension. Tension find in ropes, strings. You must be aware of buoyancy force. You must be aware of viscous force. When a solid comes in contact with liquid, this viscous force generates. Then other forces are electric and magnetic forces. Now, if I talk about microscopic domain, there the forces are electric and magnetic forces, nuclear forces, interatomic forces, intermolecular forces. Now, in physics, we always try to unify all the forces. like if there are two forces we always try to find whether the two forces are of same nature or not and in 20th century we came to know that all these forces all these forces which are in different different circumstances they all arise from four fundamental forces present in the nature or we say all the physical phenomena of this natural world these phenomena are because of four fundamental forces now i am going to discuss these four fundamental forces first of all i will take gravitational force the first fundamental force gravitational force you must be aware of gravitational force whenever a kid falls from a bed we say it's because of gravity whenever we fall from a height we say it's because of gravity if you drop a stone from a height it reaches to ground that is because of gravitational force whenever whenever two objects have masses they will be attracted because of gravitational force this gravitational force is a universal force every object every object present in this universe is attracted by the other object now on the basis of this you may ask like if you and your friend both are present in a room you both are having masses so you do not attract or you do not attract your friend or your friend does not attract you why both of you are having masses so there should be a gravitational force of attraction between you in that case actually you both are on earth and the mass of earth is much greater than your mass or mass of your friend so it is because of the pull of the earth 
you and your friend both are attracted by the earth that is why your pull your force of attraction your gravitational force of attraction towards your friend is negligible as compared to the gravitational pull of the earth got it now not only this motion of the moon around earth motion of the artificial satellite around earth or motion of the planets around sun like uh, the motion of earth around sun all these motions are governed by gravity and on a larger scale gravity plays a key role like in the formation of stars galaxies etc but if we go to the microscopic level if we go to the uh, atomic level sub atomic level there the sub atomic particles are too small their masses are too less that is why there the gravitational force is negligible so at sub atomic level we do not consider gravitational force it is negligible now i will talk about another fundamental force that is electromagnetic force electromagnetic force another fundamental force it is the force between charged particles if the charges are at rest this electromagnetic force is decided by coulomb's law there we say the like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other if the charged particle is in motion then it produces magnetic effect and in the magnetic field in the magnetic field it gives rise to a force that is called electromagnetic force now i will explain you electromagnetic force with the help of two uh, experiments when you comb your hair and then you bring that comb uh, near a piece of paper that paper gets attracted by the comb i'll show you this experiment here you can see this is the comb this is the woolen cloth now uh, either you comb your hair or you rub this comb on a woolen cloth you can see you have to rub this for 10 to 15 seconds now i i will show you you can see how the piece of paper attracted by this comb you can see the attraction Can you see this? Now the second experiment, which I call as dancing water. If you rub the comb on a bowl and then you bring that comb close to stream of water, that stream of water can be controlled with the help of comb. I'll show you this experiment here. Now I am going to show you. the dancing water experiment you can see this is the comb this is the woolen cloth now i will rub this comb on this woolen cloth for about 10 to 15 seconds now you can see this is the stream of water 
and I will try to control this flow of water, stream of water with the help of this comb. You can see in the presence of gravitational force I am able to control the flow of water and that I call as dancing water. I will show you this again. Now, why all these things are happening? Let me tell you, all these things are happening because of fundamental force, electromagnetic force, all matters, uh, the plastic, comb, wool, hair, they have electrons. And when you rub the comb on a wool, then electrons are transferred from wool to comb. Actually, the object which holds the electron, how tightly it holds the electron, it depends upon the material with which it is made up of. In COM, COM holds the electrons more tightly, that is why electrons are transferred from wool to uh, COM. Now, because of this, COM overall becomes negatively charged, and when you bring and when you bring, when you bring calm near to water, water overall it is neutral, but water is a polar molecule which has positive and negative poles. So when you bring calm near to water, the calm overall is negative. So this calm attracts positive poles of water molecule and repels negative pole of water molecule. This way you influence the flow of water and that is why we say we control the flow of stream of water and this I call as dancing water. We are able to control the piece of paper or flow of water in the presence of gravitational force because electromagnetic force is much stronger than gravitational force. Since electromagnetic force is much stronger than gravitational force, it dominates all phenomena at molecular level and atomic level. It decides many macroscopic forces like tension, uh, like spring forces, like frictional force. And not only this, this electromagnetic force plays a key role in deciding the structure of the atom, structure of the molecule or even the chemical reaction. The basic difference, another basic difference between gravitational force and electromagnetic force is Electromagnetic force can be attractive as well as repulsive, but gravitational force can only be attractive, right? Now as you are watching this video on laptop or mobile or you watch television, these electromagnetic interactions are responsible for generating light which allows you to read or see the screen. Got it? So, electromagnetic force, another fundamental force which we discussed here. Now, I will talk about another fundamental force, another fundamental force, strong nuclear force. You must be aware of this that the nucleus of the atom is made up of positively charged protons and neutral neutrons. Now since 
the protons are positively charged there will be electro uh, magnetic force they will repel each other and if they repel each other they should move away from each other the only attractive force which we know is gravitational force and that is negligible at atomic level so they should move away from each other and this way the nucleus should become unstable but the fact is nucleus is stable and this fact gives rise to another fundamental force and it should be strong stronger than uh, electromagnetic and that is why we gave the name strong nuclear force it is about 100 times stronger than electromagnetic force it is independent of the uh, charge it operates equally between proton 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 neutron or neutron neutron but it operates over a short range at that is at about 10 to the power minus 15 meter now i will talk about another fundamental force and that we call as weak nuclear force weak nuclear force gives a radioactive decay which heats up the center of the earth and that is responsible for the energy of earthquakes plate tectonics volcanoes in nuclear processes such as beta decay of the nucleus the nucleus emits electron which we call as beta particle and another uncharged particle called neutrino this decay or this emission requires a force it should be different than the strong nuclear force and it should be weaker than a strong nuclear force that is why we gave the name weak nuclear force weak nuclear force is also responsible for nuclear fusion in a star like sun so in this session we talked about four fundamental forces of nature in physics we always try to unify forces and we are trying to unify these four fundamental forces also but the task is very difficult because it is very difficult to unify the theory of gravity and quantum mechanics but still we are trying and we don't know what is there in the future i hope you have understood all these points which we have discussed in this session This video is presented to you by www.testpripadda.com. Testpripadda.com provides free audio-visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams. or planning to take exams like kvpy olympiad etc it provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams the mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals log on to www.testpripadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics to download free revision notes to take free chapter wise online test progressive test and mock test to discuss doubts with mentors thank you for watching the video to stay up to date with the latest videos subscribe to our youtube channel 
like us on our facebook page test prep adda all the best